I'm Susan Anderchuk. I've been here at Burlington Baptist for about a year, but I've been a Christian for my whole life, or at least I had thought that I was a Christian. I grew up in church, going to church every Sunday, most every Wednesday night, and it was great. I knew all the Bible stories, I knew who Jesus was, but when I was a senior in high school, I went on a retreat with a friend's church. And this friend isn't someone that I had hung around with a lot. It's not someone I ever hung around with again after, but I did go on the retreat with her, probably just because I wanted to go to the beach. So we were at the beach for the weekend and her pastor was talking about knowing Christ as your savior and your Lord and having a personal relationship with him and asking him into your heart. And I had never heard that. I was a straight A student. I always tried to do my best. I was a good person, but I had never heard about receiving Christ. And I felt like I had missed the most important part, which I had, but I just sat there with tears streaming down my face because with all my smarts, all of my knowledge, all of my, my goodness, I had missed the most important thing. I didn't know that I didn't know that there was more to it than just knowing who God was. I knew that God loved me. I knew that Jesus died for me, but I thought that he died for all people. He did. I thought that all people were going to heaven because he died for them. And that's not true. I learned that just as a gift under the Christmas tree is yours, if you receive it, you have to receive the gift of salvation. I didn't know that. God was holding it out to me, and all I needed to do was say, Jesus, come into my life. I want you to be my Savior and my Lord. And so I prayed that night that he would. Went home and told my parents. They thought I was going to be joining a cult. Um, I went off to college that fall. I went to the University of Oregon, a very liberal college, and I got involved with a Christian group on campus. So with this Christian group on campus, I got involved in a Bible study, and I learned to read my Bible. Every day, I learned to memorize scripture and choose favorite verses. And my parents were really worried. My dad told me that if I carried a Bible around, I would never meet anyone and get married. And he was really worried about me being in a cult. Um, it took some while of working through that. I actually married the best man ever. Um, and he's become their favorite in-law because he's been faithful and he's been He's been true and he's been letting God lead him and show him how to be a husband, show me how to be a wife. So as I said, I have always wanted to do good and I've always wanted to please my dad in particular, please other people. Um, in college, I majored in business so that I could please my dad. And I realized quickly that that wasn't for me, but I was getting straight A's, so I stuck with it. I went to Denmark for a year. And while I was in Denmark, I realized that I really couldn't cut the business world. It was not for me. I couldn't get an A. And I realized that I had to rely on God. I didn't have my family around. I needed to become my own person and find out who I was and what I wanted from life. And I really relied on God and in prayer during that time by myself. There were other people around, but nobody close to me who really understood. When I came back from Denmark, I told my dad that I was going to be a teacher. And he was really upset at first until he started realizing, oh, summer vacation, Christmas vacation, <laughs> done at 3.30 every day. <laughs> Little did he know that's not the truth. I ended up teaching in a public school for a couple years, got married, ended up um, teaching in a Christian school where I didn't get paid great amounts of money. <laughs> I ended up working many, many long hours. But my favorite part of that was teaching children that God loved them, that it wasn't enough just that their parents loved God. It wasn't enough that they went to church, but they needed to ask Jesus into their hearts. They needed to let Jesus guide their lives and look through every decision as, does Jesus want them to do that or not? And so I learned to share the gospel with children and God has used that through many years. Long story short, our children grew up, they moved away, my parents moved out of Oregon, our family moved to Kentucky, and then we followed them to Kentucky last year. I had to figure out what I wanted to do and I didn't think I wanted to teach anymore. So this last year I prayed, 
we did a lot of research i talked to a lot of people i'm like lord what do you want me to do where do you want me so this year i ended up mo moving into special education and i'm now teaching a special education class of kindergarten through second graders here in boone county and i'm really enjoying it i can't share that god loves them that they need to be reading their bible but I can share with them the love of God and I can show them who he is by the way that I treat them and the way that I teach them to treat each other. And I can show my family who God is by the way I act and the things that I say. That's about it for now. My, my life has been pretty amazing to see the way God has led me through all these years, led me through not being able to please my dad the way he wanted, but really finding out who my father, my father in heaven, is and how he wants me to be and how I can please him. And I look forward to finding out how God's going to use me in the years to come. Thank you for listening.